Peace and much love, beautiful people. It's Moa Oludamari, and I would like to welcome y'all to the first installment of Learn Thyself. And what Learn Thyself is, is a history program designed to shed light upon our ancestors that tend to get lost in the shuffle of black history. Um, I think this is a wonderful thing to do because uh, growing up in the school systems, we, we tend to only learn about the, the mainstream uh, powerhouses of, of black history. And, and, and that's with all due respect because their story is definitely needed as well. The Martin Luther King Jr.'s, the Malcolm X's a little bit, uh, <laughs> the Mega Evers a little bit, uh, Carter G. Woodson's a little bit, W.E.B. Du Bois a little bit, and so on and so forth. But it mainly always revolved around Martin Luther King, to be honest with you. Um, so the, the idea of this whole program is to shed light upon those who might have been in the, either in the background, uh, those who have contributed to the success of the prominent members of, of black history and so on and so forth. Um, so naturally, I believe that the uh, best place to start is with author Alfonso Schomburg, my man right here. And what's so uh, intriguing about my man right here is that he's a black bibliophile, black Puerto Rican bibliophile, and he was a collector. And his journey started in the fifth grade. Uh, it started in the fifth grade when his teacher told him that the Negro has no history. Zero. Zero history. Right? Uh, no historical events. Uh, no defining moments. No uh, powerhouses in art, literature, or the sciences or anything like that. Absolutely no history. And how damaging can that be uh, to tell to a fifth grader that their people have no history? That That's downright evil. You know, uh, luckily though, um, Arturo didn't buy it. He didn't. He didn't buy into the hype. And what he did was, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna prove this lady wrong, and I'm gonna show her, their people, our people, my people, that our people <laughs> have a beautiful, beautiful history. So what he did was, he began to collect books, manuscripts, art pieces, anything that he can get his hands on to display the beautiful, beautiful past of a beautiful, beautiful people. And to that, I am greatly indebted to him um, and others like him. I mean, he, he was in the same uh, boat as W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, the same boat as Carter G. Woodson, uh, Langston Hughes knew the man and things like that. And that was so dope to read on, to know that, yo, all, all these people hung out. You know what I'm saying? All these people knew each other. W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, they borrowed from this man's library to do the great things and the great research um, that they was able to do. So that, that that's a beautiful thing in and of itself. Um, so I believe that Brother Arturo deserves to get some more light uh, shown upon him uh, for the contributions that he did for our people. Me, myself, being a bibliophile and a collector of books, it was interesting to see that there was a history of black men who loved books, you know? Um, so that was pretty cool. And I actually came across uh, Brother uh, Arturo from a children's book first. It was a children's book called Schomburg, The Man Who Built a Library. And um, that was the coolest thing ever. One, because I work at the library. Two, I'm a lover of books and a collector as well, which I just said. Um, but to know that there was a history of black men who did that, it, it just opened my, my, my mind up to, to greatness. And, and that was Brother Arturo's um, whole thing. You know, he noticed that his little white friends in fifth grade got so much pride at looking at their history. He was like, I want to feel some pride too. So he, he took the torch and ran with it and illuminated generations after him. And for that, I am sincerely, sincerely indebted to him. And I'm sincerely, sincerely thankful uh, to him for this black Puerto Rican brother. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Puerto Rican family um, as well. Because, I mean, this is someone that we both can be very, very proud of. Um, uh, one of the main differences... Uh, between Arturo and, and folks like W.E.B. Du Bois and, and Carter G. Woodson, which kind of, I, I don't want to call it a rift, but they, it, it was just two different things. Like uh, W.E.B. Du Bois and uh, uh, Carter G. Woodson and, and, and the like like that, they focused on uh, uh, African history 
from the mother continent. Brother Arturo, he focused on the black greatness from the Caribbean. You know, his, his mother was a black West, uh, West Indian and uh, his father was a Puerto Rican. So he had a whole different set of history to, to, to delve into and to bring to light, which is beautiful for me because, you know, as a black man myself, I typically look at uh, black history from the mother continent as well, as much as, as many of our ancestors did for us. Not even thinking about, pretty much, to, to think about, to look at the Caribbean, uh, and Cuba and Puerto Rico and and uh, in all the different places in the islands where our presence is also known and you know this is not to even exclude Europe and all these other places that our, our, our footprint is definitely at so I just wanted to give a shout out and um, some light shone upon my brother here Arturo Alfonso Schomburg he changed his name to author when he moved to America um, you know he, he just Americanized his name and things like that um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to this brother, and I, I'm not even done reading the book yet. I'm about halfway through, but what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna I'm upload little tidbits of information that I learned about this brother uh, as I learned them. So as I learn them, you learn them, and um, yeah, I, I'm excited to do that. So be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell at the bottom right there so you can get notifications when um, new videos pop up. And also, be sure to follow me on my Facebook page, HRH Moa Oludumari. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Moa Oludumari as well. Uh, until then, my beautiful people. Until then, my fellow nerds. Until then, my closet nerds. See y'all soon. Peace and much love to you, to y'all, to the future, and to our ancestors. See y'all soon. Peace.